let's take a look here at classical machine learning. And so when we say classical, we're talking about algorithms that have existed for quite a while, May, maybe as early as the 1950s, because we had these mathematicians and they figured these out. And a lot of these things actually relate to um, statistics, right? So we're taking statistics um, and utilizing them uh, in, in these algorithms in our computing spaces. So hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, it's, they're called classical ML because we are dealing with older algorithms. And one example would be nearest neighbor algorithm, which was invented in 1967. And lots of companies today definitely could utilize classical machine learning uh, to solve business problems. Just because they're old does not mean that they're not good. It's just a matter of organizations knowing how to adopt uh, classical machine learning. So let's talk about first supervised learning. So this is where we have data that has been labeled into categories. And this is great when we are doing something that is task driven. We're trying to make a prediction because the idea is we have this labeled data. And so then we can bring unlabeled data and tell the machine to label it, right? So here we have classification. So imagine we want an outcome. This would be to predict the ca what category something belongs to. A use case here would be identity fraud detection. We have regression. This is where maybe we want to predict a variable in the future. So we're, we're trying to figure out a market forecast. Um, and we cover, you know, classical regression. So you should know what these are. Um, if not, you will know about what they are soon enough because we'll cover them more than once. Um, then for unsupervised learning, we have data that has been not been labeled, okay? This is where things are data driven. So we recognize a structure or a pattern. We're not making a very specific prediction. Um, here we have clustering, so the outcome of something. So you group data based on similarities or differences. Example here would be targeted marketing, association. So find a relationship between variables through association. The, the use case here would be a, cust a customer recommendation. We have dimension dimensionality reduction. So here, help reduce the amount of data or pre-processing. This is a problem you have a lot of data. Um, and this uh, use case here would be big data visualization. So um, yeah, there you go.